Supraja Didi is an associate professor in the School of Computing, SRM Institute of Science and Technology. Um, and she is the university coordinator of uh, UHP, UHP Cell. She completed her UHP introductory workshop in June 2022 and UHP 2 in August 2022. And she is the uh, university coordinator of, of all the six campuses of SRM uh, University. She conducted in house FDPs, MDP. Uh, she's attending uh, weekly meetings, morning meetings, six and eight, six to eight batch regularly. She's coordinating the face to face FDPs. Now uh, she has started coordinating the Tamil uh, translated team. So, very active volunteer of uh, the southern region, Supraja Didi. So, welcome, Didi, for your sharing. Over to you. Thank you. Namaste, Baya. Thank you, Sunil Baya. Namaste, Shamula Didi. Namaste, everyone. So, I am Supraja. I am from the agriculture family, uh, Murkambakum village. It's in Changalpa district. So, here I will share uh, some details about my journey. But before that, I will uh, talk about my takeaways from the morning session. So, this morning meeting is really working great to understand the steps. So, in the exercise one, I could able to understand the self and the body are two different realities. Their need and the activities are different. And I am making effort to develop this right understanding and right feeling in myself. So the first step is observing my imagination. I couldn't say it is happening all the time, but it has become an habitual. So I am checking what is my desire, what I want to be. And this is something inside, what I want to be, what I want to be. This question is always there. And what is my expectation? What I'm expecting to get it something from outside? And what is happening in my thoughts? That is how to be, uh, how to be and how to get in this desire or expectation. So would I able to check my behavior? It is all because of my thoughts and it is because of my feelings and it's because of the accumulated sanskar which I have. And I could able to notice that even the sanskar is changing time to time. Like from one assumption to another assumption. And sometimes these assumptions are aligned with right understanding. And sometimes I could notice that it is not aligned with right understanding. So I could able to do a frequent check on my decisions. Whether this decisions is coming based on the right understanding or because of the assumptions and preconditions I have inside. So... I could able to check my feeling whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. If there is a feeling or an opposition, I could able to notice that it is costing it is causing me a disturbance. I can feel the disturbance, and uh, that disturbance is uh, that disturbance I can pay an attention to. Previously, I couldn't do this kind of attention. Why this disturbance is happening? I just know there is a disturbance, but the reason behind was clueless. But now I could able to capture the reason behind this disturbance. So there is, I could notice there is a change in my feeling. A feeling is not definite within me. So before uh, a fight or opposition happening, but during that opposition, after a few minutes, after, few, after a day, I could able to check. So I could feel that I am the one who desired to be in that feeling, not the other person or the outside situation. And since... Uh, it is keep changing, that feeling is keep changing and it is not definite. I could able to see I'm not aligned with the uh, feeling of relationship all the time. So previously, I suffered thinking that everybody is influencing my life. Uh, now I could see that I am the one who gave the meaning to every situation happening. And I am the one who giving the meaning to the people's words, my thoughts, my feeling and all what I accumulated I am responsible so this is one shift I could see within myself so the frequent checking on my feeling uh, whether it is aligned with the harmony or it is aligned with the relationship and coexistence and most of the time it is not so but I'm trying to work to align with this I I could even uh, observe some small small details within myself and within my body so in exercise two I could observe some two realities like 
myself and the body and which is transaction happening through the space. And I am the one who taking the decision, what instruction to pass to my body and what sensation to read from my body. And I could feel my body is just an instrument. And it doesn't happen in the first morning batch because I feel little difficult uh, in the exercise two. The exercise one is little better in the first time. But after repeated attending, I could notice this is happening. So I am one who giving the meaning of the words I hear. And various sensation is taking place. And I am reading the sensation, but I could feel now I am not the sensation. And the reaction and the response of the sensation is depend on what I have accumulated within inside. I could see my reaction to this world is because of my accumulation. And I can only capture few uh, for which I am paying attention for. Not all the um, sensation happening in my body, but few I can capture that I am paying attention for. So previously I react. I start now, I feel I started responding to others, but I couldn't say not all the time, but I could see immediately when I'm reacting, I could feel I'm reacting and I could take some passes. So now I feel I exist here with some essence that is to live with this coexistence. And I feel so light and enjoying this inner journey of exploration. And I say I'm more comfortable within me myself and previously, I suffer about my loneliness. But now I am working more on myself when I am alone. Now I feel so real and feel the freedom not to impress anyone or to suffer within. So if I could say in one line how this morning session and UHV has changed is, uh, initial state of mind was I don't know what to do in this life. Uh, I, I don't have any clue what to do with this life. But that is changed to the state what all I could do with the self. So that was the uh, transformation I could say. And uh, some details about my whole journey. Um, I was a only kid to my parents and grown up in a very big family, uh, traditional family. So pampered, uh, many people around, uh, but most of the time they, they will give more than what I want. But many times I feel that is not what I want. So in the name of protection, right from the, my childhood, I hear some common things. Girls should not go out. Um, that was a practice right from my childhood till later. And shouldn't be known to anyone, especially not seeking an attention and shouldn't be known to anyone and not to be in the dance or sports. That may lead to attention. And society is not safe for girls and friends are meant only to spoil. So not having much cool of friends as well. I have seen my brothers uh, enjoying and playing, all my cousins. At that time, I somewhat feel very lonely, even though the whole family is around me. I was frustrated listening to this do's and don'ts. I felt like I need some freedom. I cried many times alone uh, in, the, in the backyard of my place, but I, it is just to suppress my pain and nobody knows uh, when I do these things. I always wished I should born as a boy and that was my feeling. So, so many questions are pestering within me uh, many times. Uh, why did I born? What is my role in this life? Why I'm not allowed to be myself? Uh, why do always somebody is choosing everything for me? Am I a programmed robot? Why do I just follow the instructions somebody has given? Why boys are set free and girls are shut at home? Uh, so a lot of, lot of these things was going inside my mind. And many times my papa used to say, after marriage, you can be free. So I had an assumption and conclusion, I'll be free after a marriage. So most of the times I was taught what not to do in life. But my biggest question was uh, what to do in this life. That that I always had it early days, early in my childhood, from my childhood, I could say. So days passed, like schools and college happened in a very strict environment. And just by assuming that my marriage is a freedom, I said okay to the boy who, who roamed behind me for three years and it has created so many problems, oppositions uh, that led to several health issues. I was complicated with several operations and I was there in a hospital for three to four months, no oral food. So that time I felt like this suffering is very personal. I cannot even explain to anyone what I'm going through. 
and again one more assumption this physical and mental pain uh, cannot be transferred a lot of assumption i don't know what exactly happening in my uh, life so few months after after i was better i got married during my final year so that time my assumption about the freedom about the marriage i don't have much idea about what is my roles and responsibility in marriage life i felt very tough to understand and accustomed with this marriage life my husband say i could go out freely but this time i wanted to be dependent on him i was so much confused what i really want what i am longing for see my papa gave so much feeling but that time i wanted freedom facilities excitement but now my husband fulfilling these longings allow me to be free and um but here i want to be dependent i i wanted feeling from him rather he is trying to compensate with the facilities since i am not sure about what i want what to do with this life no clarity about anything i just pass my days many sleepless nights thinking about lot of questions within me why this life why i am living what is my purpose what to do many existential question again and again so i have put some effort to understand this life even before you watch me i could say i attended meditation in our engineering kundalini yoga lot of lot of things um but here again it's like a instruction like do this do that so sometime i did it and i left even though i know it has an impact but i couldn't understand and connect to the process how it's helping me so as you watch me when i did my first exploration in june 2020 and within a month uh, time i could able to complete my uhv2 and this morning meetings so this as I, where i realized this is where i am searching for so many years so the first connect which i got with the uhv is because of the self exploration process which i can verify on my own so i i felt i get the direction to see the things little clear and i really made a consistent effort to develop my right understanding through the self exploration process uh, like attending various meetings volunteering myself checking my feet this further i could see a uh, changing in my feelings thought behavior while i was in this process and nothing has changed in my life like outside but every situation remains same what i was before but only thing is my understanding on seeing these things has been changed that i could see so before you watch me i am not clear where i want to be i am not clear about my current and desire state i always want myself to be free and i used to complain a lot about my father uh, and i insist him is not taking me everywhere and he is constraining my freedom even that time what i want is not clear so when when people asked me in you watch me about write down all your aspiration i was so confused because when i listed myself to see i wanted to be alone but now i am alone in a room but it is not satisfying me i wanted to roam alone but when my husband gave a chance even in when we are in uh, uk i hesitated to go out without him i didn't want to utilize and when i wanted to dress up i tried but i felt previously i felt my appa only giving me all my dresses i what i didn't even but now i feel a selection is far better but after trying different restaurants i was a frequent social media hunter so i'm checking now whether i am doing it for the association with the people or just to show off my life is happy why i am doing all this stuff is the question started happening within me when i aspired to get a promotion i could notice that it is just one day or within few moments only the responsibility has come and uh, i has to travel explore initially like past drinks past buildings pubs clubs and later it it doesn't interest to me so i was so confused what i am aspiring for i check all my desires <laughs> all my desires sub desires i listed and i tried checking whether this is connecting to my happiness or not so this is where my first understanding has come my basic aspiration is to be happy and just like everyone i am also trying to get it from multiple ways so i related to many of my past incidents i thought if i grow i will be happy if i get married i will be happy if i earn myself i will be happy if i become a teacher room dress well 
it is all just an assumptions all my assumptions was just an assumptions assumptions about my happiness but not the real happiness so the true meaning of happiness i realized for the first time that a uh, basic aspiration is to be happy and prosperous and happiness is a state of harmony and during introductory and uhv2 i was not much clear about this natural acceptance and after volunteering a weekly meeting i slowly got the clarity on it and after discussing with the uhv in now fdp at our university uh, with umesh paya i could able to see that uh, natural acceptance little clear and the, my assumption that money makes me happy by earning more uh, and i want to be independent i got a good physical facility but happiness was still a question mark i could check the physical facilities i accumulated more 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 than enough but still why i am not happy so this proposal made me to think i literally went and saw all the physical facilities i bought in a home and that i regularly recheck every time i could notice either many things i used for once or only for the past which is currently not in use but or i just got many things just to use it for the future so i could see my need is very very limited and i started checking the purpose of everything dress is to protect a body now i feel this fancy dresses and literally uh, feel irritation and very comfort or cotton cloths i feel very comfort so there uh, now uh, after this the car everything i started connecting the facilities with the purpose and then i could check just this physical facility is not a problem uh, there is a lot of problem with the relationship and i am trying to uh, compensate on even the family members trying to compensate with the relationship and for developing this understanding i need a right understanding initially the uh, when i did this uhv the understanding of human being self and the body this is really new to me and this helped me to understand the physical facilities for a body and self needs the happiness and i i could able to see the need is different and one cannot be fulfilled by another the same question which was in my mind i tried connecting so if i go for go for a food is it connecting with my happiness if i get new clothes is it getting my happiness i moment that i will, this is the moment i could able to see that till date i was just running for my bodily needs and trying to derive the happiness from the self so first time i felt the freedom not to impress anyone and started understanding and analyzing the purpose of things and started checking my state i was in why do i copy why do i try to impress other people why do I want them to appreciate or accept me why i am doing things for others first why i am expecting the favorable feeling from others this mostly used to uh, happen with my papa mama or husband i used to expect a favorable feeling and what i'm going to get from it these kind of question is the first time i started developing my right understanding and in the relation part there is really a drastic change because this trust and competence i checked all my complaints which i had with my papa mama husband i started watching i could see the intention of papa is pure it is not um he would don't want to allow me but he is concern about me and uh, it is an expression of his deep, deep concern and affection for me and i started feeling gratitude even there is a recent incident that i said to my papa i want to go to one marriage i know it's going to be answer is no there is an assumption and as expected i was not allowed but this time i was just connecting three things is my happiness is to go to that marriage what is the intention of my papa and what is the level of competency of his and what is the level of competency i am expecting this and my expectation for his acceptance i am just checking all these things and my intention of my mama and husband is also uh, changed and i feel it's so pure and the feeling for them has changed before uh, changed better than before so previously i had a very conditional love with my husband i was expecting a lot i now i can understand he is giving all the way he knows but not the way i i want it is my expectation and i to lack in a competence and both have 
checking why i'm trying to get my happiness through him that i always checking now it hardly took few moments for this right understanding i could say there is no complaints or at least less complaints i do have with him about a deep feeling of gratitude toward everybody so i could validate myself the intention and others i am validating by their ability so this i to lack in the competency now i previously i had a lot of dependency feel with them but now it was all turned to be developing each other myself as well as the others and uh, i always have this pre notation uh, i know everything i am better than others especially i over evaluate myself in the college but now i feel do i really know or i assume that i know the things so i understand i'm evaluating myself from the desire state and other person with the current state and i understand i am talking from my desire state and forget to check what state i am right in so i am i am trying to understand to fill this process of uh, process to fill this gap and to do this right evaluation of my own competence and uh, sometime uh, i am hurry to learn things just to show i know but now it's really turning to learn to know things i should learn to know things and under evaluation is always there in my during especially in my evening time when i was alone i always think i don't have purpose to live kind of thing now this under evaluation has gone i feel now how can i be nothing i am here to do understand myself and i do have purpose and that i could check and i have a feeling of gratitude towards my own life so three questions i always focus every moment what i really want to be what is naturally acceptable to me if it is not happening i will just put a check pass and shift to that natural acceptance this is helping me a lot and most of the time i am doing this exercise myself every day and uh, when i was with myself and when, when i was with other people whether it is a favorable feeling or some events within with unfavorable feeling also i keep checking this has become an habitual and if i feel any problem i am checking which preconditioning is triggering me which assumption is triggering me this too is helping me a lot it 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 has uh, become a capturing of which preconditioning is creating this kind of uh, disturbance within me so i could see there is a shift in my attention now i can pay little attention to the basics and i really wanted to explore this journey more and uh, this connection towards self is bringing more understanding and really this world around me and within myself is so new um uh, i could see i could able to deal more of my situation even it's favorable sometime more favorable situation also causing disturbance for me so favorable unfavorable i could able to feel it and now understanding a situation dealing a situation is really getting easier because i could feel it is not happening outside it is happening within me so things are getting easier now it's open my path of self exploration now it's not about my place or with the people or with my position it's purely a purpose seeing my series of life both good and bad events i can uh, realize all these happenings all these events all these people are helping me to pay attention to something and they are helping me to develop uh, the only i have to pay attention and see the meaning and life turns to be very beautiful and i could say i am sleeping peacefully now every night so regarding this commitment currently i am putting so much effort for self development i could feel it that i am more responsible and i am reading books uhv book and watching ganesh ji videos most of the time when i am free i am just into that videos and also committed to the societal development that is well being for all spending so much time for the right understanding and right feeling within myself that is my first priority and uh, watching my behavior thoughts feelings even with without people or any time it's just happening and i have to help others i feel assured of me i have to help them to develop as well and now i could see why i have keen to be in the teaching field so now i'm working as a, a professor i mean associate professor in uh, srm and full time in uhv cell connecting with many people listening to them sharing my experience we really have a meaningful discussions nowadays at least i could feel i am having it conducting so many programs week regular weekly meeting 
and with the national team i am supporting sr region face to face coordination uh, fdp coordination and now uh, recently i started this tamil translation team and i myself want to develop as a potential resource person and wanted to take it to the nearby schools um, old age homes to all my caretaker akka annas families wherever i can so i am committing myself to develop this right understanding through self exploration and the proposals of uhp to everyone i can i feel this is what what else is worth to do more than this so i like to thank and i feel gratitude to all the resource persons volunteers and co explorers for putting so much effort for our development and uh, here i really got a uhp family uh, papa my bias didis with whom i can discuss freely and get some guidance so feeling of gratitude towards everyone thank you so much namaste ji namaste namaste supraja ji very nice to hear your sharing namaste uh, didi namaste a lot of work has happened outside uh, with your commitment you know volunteership and i can see lot of work is happening inside also in terms of your um, self exploration of course like we all keep saying that you know it is a long journey but i think the process has started in a very beautiful way in you from what you have described and if i go back to i think the previous sharing also i can see a lot more of the exploration and um, earlier it was more about the past and now you started it also in an unconventional way started with the exercises and then went back to the past so very nice all the very best to you and uh, we'll continue to see the thing is it is very mutually fulfilling like you mentioned you know people are helping you and you are in turn helping in this whole process and you have become a part of the team helping to do the societal work so all of us together and i think make a wonderful team all the very best to you that time thank you didi thank you so much